So this is another failed unboxing, and we're gonna have to head over to Rosenon to return it, so stick around. Today I am unboxing a little bit of Coach for you guys. Yes, it is my birthday month. If you live outside of the United States, you may not be aware, but, but October is a national holiday for, for, for my birthday. Pretty sure that's how it works. We're gonna unbox this. I'm gonna share a quick little story time and then we're gonna head over to the Rosemont Outlet and make a return because this is so disappointing. But before we get into that, guys, hey, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, go and hit the subscribe button down below. Consider joining the membership with the join button down below. We have a really fun, engaged community, really fun Discord, member meetups, extra perks, access, you name it. It's all gonna be down there in the membership. But what are we doing today? We were discussing about what's in this little envelope. So I ordered this about a week ago because as you all know, it is my birthday month. Just wanted to throw that in there again. And so far I've placed an Hermes bag on reserve over at Fashion File strategically so that way I could break it out of reserve jail just in time for my birthday. I wanted to prolong opening this gift for as long as I could. So in the meantime, I'm like, well, you know, the Coach Outlet has a few, you know, cute reserve pieces. So let me pick up some new jewelry, right? So if you don't already know, for those who know, but those who don't know, the Coach Reserve, that is literally just the full price stuff sent to Outlet for a discounted price. So everything back here is Coach full price, except for this big guy up here that was a made for factory piece, which automatically just comes at a discount. But when it comes to reserve, you want to be quick because sometimes these items can sell out. That was not the case with these bracelets though. So these had been around for a minute and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to order them, enjoy them, whatever. I would, I just wanted some jewelry, right? I ordered them, I think like Monday, Tuesday, I got like, oh, hey, it's your birthday month. Here's an extra 10% off after the sale. And then I think Wednesday they were like, oh, extra 15% off at the outlet. So doomed from the start. The envelope arrives, it was already open in the mail. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be terrible. But they were both in here. Anyway, what did I get? So in here I have two bracelets. So these are just both the semi-precious kind of bolero style bracelets. So I picked up for the first bracelet. This is the Lapis Lazuli semi-precious bracelet. Thought it was super cute. I wear a lot of blue, you know, both with my clothing, my bags, my other jewelry. I thought this would fit right in. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> I think regularly these are priced at like $95. They're currently over on the Coach Outlet website for only $36. I'm going to link them down below because although they did not work for me, they're perfect for literally everyone else who doesn't have massive man hands. I saw what I said, save space. Next up, I purchased the Jade version. The Jade is really pretty. It's like a nice light green with a very, very, very light lavender stone in the middle. Super cute. I thought this would be great for spring, you know, Jade for spring, groundbreaking. But um, both were super cute. They just didn't fit over my thumb. So I'm like, you know what? My husband has smaller hands than I do. Let's see if they work for him. No. So I'm like, you know what? There's no point in keeping these. This is like 80 bucks wrapped up and bracelets I can't wear. You can go towards my fashion file reserve purchase and get that Hermes out oh so much sooner. So let's go to the outlet and return these. Get to Rosemont and failing in a big way. It's not so, our fault. No, it's not our fault. So apparently, apparently, a uh, train has broken down on the tracks that cuts off like this plains. This plains in half. So we're like backtracking along the the train tracks to try and cross. And I think we're about to cross over the tracks. Hopefully, hopefully at a higher point, so then we can head over and then head back down. But it's been a process. Oh, also, in case you were wondering. We're taking the Birkin out again today just because I wanted to.
empty parking garage and you had to put your big truck right next to my door. Thanks. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're finally home. We had to hit up Target because we needed some groceries, some odds and ends for around the house. You know, we walked around the outlet and Prada was having 10% off, which was a pretty good deal for Prada. I mean, let's be honest. I, I don't think they've ever really done a extra percent off. They have. They have? Okay, well, they have. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we popped into Burberry and I'm going to say what I'm going to say, safe space, but I'm ready for the Ricardo Tishi. Stuff to kind of like move out. I'm ready to see some more Daniel Lee. Just walked past Gucci. They didn't have anything new from the last time, but all in all, nice afternoon. Had to do a return. Lame. I know, right? Not not fun. Normally when we get home from shopping, I have like an unboxing to do for you guys, but not the case. Anyway, thank you all for joining us. Like I said, make sure to subscribe down below. If you're into more vlogs like this, we post big weekend vlogs every Friday. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh